Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. So this is, uh, of course, the good old Kenwood R5000, my first IN receiver that I uh, purchased secondhand somewhere in uh, 1990, I believe. And it was only about six months old when I got it. And uh, the owner probably didn't even use it more than <laughs> an hour or two. It was really unused so it's we could almost say it was brand new when i bought it so we're going to tune from two megahertz to three megahertz and i'm going to do a few of those with this radio and uh, try to identify what station and what we can be uh hearing on the bands um and including some of those digital modes that you might wonder what it is and i think we're gonna have a little bit of fun with the kenwood r5000 which uh came back after uh, fast load that you might you guys might have seen on the chat room has uh, repaired as it had the uh, famous dots problem when I uh, actually uh, send it to him and uh, really fun to uh, really fun to see it again see it in action and see it working I mean you know these are radios that you want to see that they still work and they still do something and uh, they're cool you know a lot of people are, are actually going crazy and trying to find you know vintage Kenwood or 5000s today and so on so uh, I gotta say that uh, it's it's uh, it's it's pretty cool so let's tune around 2 to 3 megahertz so 2000 kilohertz to 3000 kilohertz there's a lot of marine stations there and stuff like that honestly there's not a lot we hear in montreal but you know let's check out anyways so uh step whoops step let's tune at uh slow speed To 2182, the uh, international distress call and uh, frequency. It's not monitored by a lot of uh, countries, but there's still a lot of there's still there's still some places out there that actually monitor this. And I've seen that in Europe, particularly, some people have been mentioning that there has been some activity on that frequency. This is uh, 2300, the uh, good old 120 meter band, broadcast band. I've never really heard a station there, but there were some. There were some in Australia particularly that were uh, often received, but uh, never received a broadcast here personally. Still a little early, but uh, 2500 kilohertz is uh, WWV here. Around uh, 040500 UTC. Uh, it's the time where I usually hear it a little more. In the winter time, of course, it's the best time for that frequency for WWV. Le 
So this is the Canadian Coast Guard broadcast in French, 2598 kilohertz. Um, I don't know which station it is. According to the schedules here, it would be Newfoundland. Um, I'm wondering if it's not actually closer to uh, Quebec called Les Escoumins, which would explain how good the signal is, actually. Um, I haven't taken out the... Uh, the frequencies that I know here and that I have on uh, my lists but uh, this is definitely the East Coast um, somewhere in uh, probably either Quebec or Nova Scotia, uh, Newfoundland sorry for the uh, Canadian Coast Guard 2598 kilohertz Quiet right now at 2749 is another frequency of Canadian Coast Guard I hear very often. So not a lot, but a few little signals here from the Canadian Coast Guard. Uh, 2,000 to 3,000 kilohertz tuning on the Kenwood R5000 communications receiver. And the next video we're going to do 3,000 to 4,000 kilohertz, which will have a lot more signals. And hope that you enjoy this tuning around, especially with this good old Kenwood R5000 communications receiver. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.